This place that we're visiting is called Butter Bean and it is a new concept cafe that was created by Red Talk. Okay, let me tell you a little bit more about this place, okay? I cannot take out my mask yet because they don't have a drink yet. Okay, so the concept for Butter Bean, right, uh, what they want to do is to elevate the drinking experience of uh, kopi teh, you know, the usual uh, classic traditional drinks that we always have at uh, Red Talk so that it's a little bit more uh, palatable or a little bit more approachable to the younger audience. So apart from the specialty drinks that they have, they also have this toast. So the toast, uh, there are, from what I see in the menu, there are eight different kinds of toast. Another point to note is that butter bean is currently no pork, no lard, uh, but they are in the process or they are striving to get a halal cert. Let me find out from the people behind this establishment. Do they use Robusta or Arabica beans? Oh, they do a blend of both. Yeah, it's, a blend. it's a proprietary blend. Okay. So at Butter Bean, right, what happens is that they will do the grinding there. Usually at most places, right, they don't boil it. They will straight away uh, ground. So it's grounded ready, and then it's straight away put into the sock, and then you pour hot water into it. Yes, correct. But here they boil it first. They, 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 they bring the water up to boil, then they put the beans inside, the roasted, uh, the, the roasted and grinded beans inside so that the flavour of the coffee is a little bit stronger lah. Then here, so I'm watching them do the brulee co brule kopi latte. So there is a fresh milk and then there's the kopi itself topped with a salted cream foam and then they will put a ring over it and then they will torch it. Before this? Oh, so they're sprinkling some sugar first so that when they torch it, right, the sugar will caramelize. That's why, that's how it becomes a brulee. So I'm watching a very artisanal toast being done. So what they do is they spread the jam on one side of the bread and then they pipe la, they pipe the peanut butter on the other side. Very artisanal. There's a station here for toast and it looks like oh, you can only do one toast at a time. Wow. There's a lot of artisanal things for a... Uh, how much is it? A $2.80 toast toast, uh, people. Come on. So now what the gentleman is doing is sprinkling some peanuts on it and then he will top it with a strawberry. Every toast looks like the picture, lah, people. So the two drinks that we are ordering, that, that, that we have ordered first today is GM Teh Bliss. Okay, so GM stands for Gula Melaka. And then, uh, so essentially it's teh with gula melaka and a drizzle of gula melaka on top also lah, I suppose. Then this one is the... Brulee tea Brule latte. Bee tea latte. So it's tea, so you can see there's milk, there's tea, and then on top, there's this, uh, like a brulee lah. So this is the GM Teh Bliss, okay? Taste test. Hey, it's not too bad. It's basically tea with gula melaka lah, but it's... Honestly, it's not too sweet. I, I don't say this often because I think it's very annoying when people say like, oh, this dessert is not too sweet or this drink is not too sweet but this is really not too sweet. But this is perfect. Then this is the B Brulee Tea Latte. Mmm! Very delightful. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to try is the toast. So these are their specialty toast. I can say that it's a specialty toast. So the first one is called My Milky Milo. So it's milk uh, Milo powder with uh, drops of condensed milk. Very kids friendly. Children will love it. Then the next one that I want to try is the peanut butter and jelly. So you have peanut butter and then you have the jam. You can expect good peanut butter lah. After all, Toast box has very good peanut butter toast. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Then the next one is this. This is called the say cheese. So it's essentially a layer of buttercream with uh, cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese? Yeah, cheddar cheese. Hmm. The buttercream is got a bit of sweetness. Nice. Next thing that I want to try is this uh, sandwich. This is the crispy fried chicken. 
Yes. So it comes with a, four, a choice of four choices. A, a choice of four. So it comes with a choice of four sauces: black pepper, uh, sesame, to Thousand Island, and curry. So it looks like this. Cute, cute. Okay, so this one is the chicken with the black pepper sauce. So I'm gonna try this. The black pepper sauce is a little bit sweet. Yeah, so there's a bit of sweetness to it. Now, for this is very good for a midday perk me up. Not bad. Then the next one is the battered fish fillet. So it looks like this. Look at that huge fish there. It's very comfort food, lah. There's really nothing else. There's really nothing else to it. It's just really just comfort food. But the bread is toasted. There's cheese, there's eggs, and then there's the fish itself, uh, the meat itself. Uh. Very nice. The fish one is 680. The, okay, the chicken one is also 680. They also have this thing, this other option called basic ham and cheese, which is also six, uh, which is 640. So if you top up 70 cents, you can get uh, an ice or a kopi te latte. Oh, I really like the fish one. Eh. Not bad. Good job. At Butter Bin, there's this feature wall of mural Hi. that was created by this group, uh, this group, this collective called Eight Eight Spot. Yeah, so it's like a feature wall lah at this restaurant. Okay, so we've just left uh, Butter Bean, and this is my thoughts on Butter Bean. Uh, I mean, it is in a very good location at Funan, so it's very central. If you all have been to Funan, you would know that uh, a lot of the places here are uh, a little bit upper end, lah, right? Uh, I honestly think that if I was going to be around, if I would be, if I was going to be around the area, and I'm like a bit hungry, but I don't want something too expensive, I want something a little bit more approachable, then I think butter bean is a very good option, lah, for it. I love the sandwiches. Sandwiches are really good. Uh, the specialty drinks are really good. It's good because it's not too sweet. And I know this is a bit of a cliche to say lah, like, ooh, it's not too sweet, but it's really not too sweet. I think it's worth coming down for, for you to try lah. Yep, and that's the end of this vlog, this inaugural vlog of sethliu.com. Bye!